All right. If you would, please share the story that you cannot make up. Okay, yes, sir. So we go fast forward, you know, very much before I started seeing a therapist. Um, this was March, about five, six years ago. Um, it's a time placement. So, you know, back when we can go clubbing, I was in the club and my homeboy had came down from Jersey and we were going to see a Carly Rae Jepsen concert. I'm very much a Carly Rae Jepsen fan. She makes bops. Go listen to that Emotion album because she gives what needs to be gave on that album. We were going to the Emotion tour, actually, right after she dropped it. So anyways, we're at the club and it's like the day before the concert. And so he was like, I just want to see what the clubs are like in your area. And I was like, child, if you want to, I mean, I'm not about to get into anything. I mean, I'll, I'll take you and you and club. I'll just have a couple drinks in the background or whatever. So we're in the club and my friend, um, let's call him camp. So my friend camp at the time, uh, he was like, um, Hey, do you want to play pool? And I was just like, no, I don't really want to play pool. I don't know how to play pool. It's mm, nah, I don't want to play. And he was just like, okay, whatever. I'm about to go smoke. But then before he went to go smoke, he was like, hey, do you notice that guy that keeps walking past here? Um, he is very much your type. And I was just like, yes, very much roughneck. Very much. I just got out of prison. Very much scars on the face. Very much my type. Um, so I was like, I mean, child, he, I was like, child, he is not looking at me. It's, it's, I was like, let me just go ahead and go in the corner. And plus, I didn't come here to check for nobody anyway. He was like, okay, boy, whatever. I'm out there. So he went to the smoking section to go smoke. So as soon as he went to the smoking section, the roughneck actually comes up and steps to me. And he was like, hey, do you want to play some pool? And I was like, oh, yes, absolutely. I love pool. So <laughs> I'm phony, I know. So <laughs> Actually, when my friend came back from smoking, he was like, you are so goddamn phony. I said, shh. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was just like, listen, I don't know how to play pool, but I'm going to learn how to play pool, you know, right now. So anyway, so me and Roughneck, we, you know, playing and stuff like that. And, you know, I, you know, you, you hike up the voice or whatever. I was like, I am so sorry. Um, I don't want to waste your time, but I actually don't know how to play pool before I shoot it. Oops. And then, you know, Roughneck was like, oh, no, that's all good. Uh, it's, you know, he was like, it's all good. You know, I just was a little lonely. I didn't want to be lonely tonight. So, you know, I kind of turn over and I'd be like, yes, I'm in there. So anyway, so I bring it back. And, you know, we, we, play a pool. we play a pool or whatever. He's actually, actually, I learned how to play pool that night from the Roughneck. So, um, so I know how to play a mean game of pool. You know, once, you know, COVID, Miss, Miss Coronavirus, she's on her way out anyway. Thanks to Miss Pfizer and Miss Moderna, Miss Johnson and Johnson. She's on her way out the door. But when she's out the door completely, you know, we can, we can get together, play some pool, anybody in the audience. So, um, so anyway, so that night, and then so, I don't know. I, I'm playing pool with Roughneck in my friend camp. You know, he's meeting other people and um, dancing or whatever. So we're both kind of having a good time. You know, they didn't expect it. And I'm glad he's having a good time because I was just like, I didn't mean to like leave him stranded like that. But um, I was, yes. So then um, we're dancing and he's telling, he's, the Roughneck is telling me, well, this is my first time in a place like this. I don't know when to come here, da 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 Like, I was like, I don't really, you know, want to go on the dance floor and do none of that, you know, type of stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, that's fine. He was like, actually, for real, for real, I think I'm about to just head out. And um, he was just like, I mean, but if you want to talk outside, that's fine. And I said, well, how about this? How about I just give you my number and we can talk later? And he was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. And then he was like, I actually don't live too far from here. I live around the corner. And my aloof ass it was just like, oh, okay. Well, if you don't live that far from here, maybe I'll see you here next week. <laughs> so then I go to my friend camp and I was just like, oh yeah. Um, I'ma just I'ma just call him Roughneck. Roughneck was fine, and Roughneck was just saying, like, yeah, he you know, he lived around the corner or whatever. And um Rough uh, my friend Camp was like, No, you idiot. He told you he didn't live that far that far by, so you would go with him. And I was like, Oh. Well, I have his number. Let me text him. And I was like, hey, you know, I just asked straight up, hey, did you say that you live close by because you wanted me to meet you there? And it was like, yes. I was like, oh, drop the Addy out. And I, you know, I said, I will be right back.